Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12.4 developer beta five was released today to developers and it will soon be available to public beta testers. If you don't have it already by the time you're watching this video. Now this came in at 231.8 megabytes. If you're still interested in running iOS 12.4, but alongside that today, Apple also released iOS 13 public beta one. I'll have a separate video on that later. Let's take a look at the build number. The build is 16 G five zero five six D. And the interesting thing is normally with these builds, uh, Apple increments that last letter D closer to and closer to the letter a until it's close to the final. So it looks like this may not be releasing until July. And that makes a lot of sense. There is not anything new in it as far as anything new usability wise, but this is getting ready for Apple wallet and the new Apple card. Some people, as far as employees are concerned, and it seems some people outside of employees are getting their hands on the Apple card. And that's what this update is all about. So once Apple card is available, I imagine we'll see the final version of this. And that will probably be next week or sometime in July. It seems it's hard to say at this particular point, but it's kind of strange that they keep releasing more and more of these betas with nothing really new as far as obvious improvements. Now they haven't said anything specifically that they've done in here, but responsiveness feels good. And if you're on a device that does not support iOS 13, or you just don't want to try that out, this should work just fine for you on something like an iPhone 5s. Now, since this version is basically complete, many people are saying that battery life on beta four was really quite good and it's really stable and ready to go. So we're just waiting for Apple to push that out. So if you have any hesitations about using the beta beta four, beta five battery life seems to be great for a beta, even though it's a beta and battery isn't as relative, uh, this still seems to be better than 12.3.1 for some people. So other than that, you've still got 3d touch here the same way it's always been. And that's really all there is to this. Now, for those of you that are interested in performance numbers, I did run a geek bench right after I installed this. So let's take a look and you'll see the single core was 4,166, whereas the multi-core was 9,934. This is an iPhone 10. And if we look at the history here, you'll see it was on a different version prior to this in May, and this was 12.3.1. So that gives you a little bit of an idea. I would expect the speed to actually ramp up a little bit closer to later today and things like that, just based on it being freshly installed. So normally when you freshly install an update, it will slow down a little bit. And that is really all there is with 12.4 beta five. I wanted to keep you updated, even though there's nothing really exciting in here, nothing new as far as features, and they just keep releasing these over and over. So that's all there really is to it. But let me know if you've found anything specifically in here. I'm looking forward to Apple card. And you'll see Apple card is coming this summer and that's all it really says on the website. So it'll be a nice little card that we'll be able to apply for and get discounts on Apple products and things like that. So it'll help for those of you that are going to buy new Apple gear this fall. If you're getting the card, you'll get a discount. Let me know if you found anything else in the comments below. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you'd like to see the other videos right away when I release them, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.